Okay, so, we are talking about data structure augmentation. So, we have seen the dynamic order statistics problem, how we can uh, use the data structure augmentation. So, in the, the, so now in this in this uh, lecture, we will talk about interval tree. Uh, uh, so, before the problem, let us uh, just recap the recap the data structure augmentation methodology. So, the idea is so idea is the methodology is basically so we have to choose a underlying data structure so uh, we have to choose an underlying data structure and then after that we have to uh, determine the additional field of information we are going to keep for this data structure for our problem. So, additional information we want to keep and then we have to see how this additional information can be maintained uh, when we do the uh, modifying operation like insertion deletion. If we choose the underlying data structure as the red black tree like we did for dynamic uh, order statistics and then the additional information we kept as the size of the uh, subtree rooted at that node. And then we have seen that uh, modifying operation insertion will not take much is a similar type similar time same time as we uh, do it for the the red black tree. So, the additional information can be maintained with the same timing as the original data structure. So, the timing for timing to maintain the additional information. So, this is also crucial because if we spending much more time to maintain this additional information field, then there is no use of this. So, anyway, so this is the methodology behind the data structure argumentation. Now, the interval tree problem is we have given some intervals, they are basically time intervals, and that set is dynamic set. So, any interval can join at any point of time and any interval can leave from any point of time. So, so we have a dynamic set of intervals basically time intervals and this set is dynamic. We have a dynamic set of intervals and then the query is suppose we have this interval say uh, 7, 10, 5, 11 and say 17, 19 and we have 4, 8. So, these are the say 15, 18, say 22, 23. Okay. So, suppose we have a uh, dynamic set of intervals. So, this is a collection of intervals, each is the interval, they are time interval. This is say i, i is a interval, and this is this is uh, left of i. left end point and this is 10 is the right of i, right end point. Okay. So, this is basically uh, sorry low or high. So, low, low end point or this is the high end point. So, this is low end, low end point and this is high end point. So, any interval has two end points low and high. Okay. So, this 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 set is dynamic set. So, any any point of time any interval can join 
and any point of time any interval can leave. So, this set is S set. So, this S set is the this set is basically this set is S the collection of interval and this set is dynamic set. Okay. Now, we need to uh, do this query like this. Then for a given interval, for a given interval, say we have given a interval i, we need to find an interval from S, which is overlapping with i. Find an interval from S, which overlaps with i. So, that is the problem. So, our problem is to uh, the query is we have given an interval i. So, i has a low and high end point and then we need to find the uh, interval which is overlapping with this intervals. So, that is the problem. So, for example, if I say we have say interval say uh, 8 or say 9 14, if I is 9 14, then we need to find an interval which is overlapping with 9 and 14. So, 9 and 14 is this 7 and 10 is overlapping with 9 and 14. So, we can just return 7 and 10. So, we, we for this problem we are just looking for an interval which is overlapping with this. So, this is the problem. So, for this problem we need to maintain a data structure, we need to have a data structure to maintain this set S. So, what we do? We need to do the data structure augmentation. So, so for that we will use a instead of uh, having a uh, new data structure or data structure from the scratch, we just use the underlying data structure and we will do some augmentation there to uh, add some new field. We, we store some bit of in, uh, uh, new information. So, basically this is the methodology we choose an underlying data structure. and here we are going to choose the red black tree, because red black tree is a balanced tree. So, performation anything can be done in logarithm time. Okay. And then this is the methodology of augmentation we are going to use for our problem. Then we need to uh, have the additional information. So, we need to have we need to determine additional information which we want to uh, store in the data structure. and which will help us to uh, solve our query, which will help us to uh, help us in our problem. So, our problem is the interval search problem. So, we have given time intervals and we have given a query intervals and we have to find out the intervals which is overlapping with this query intervals. So, that, that is the problem. So, we need to determine the additional information which will help us to uh, solve our problem. Okay. So, this is additional information we will keep the. So, this is the key, uh, this is the interval basically. So, we will put this intervals over here and here we will use the max, m is the. So, basically we keep this interval in a red black tree and using the key value as the left end point. Okay. So, the red black tree. Uh, so, basically, 
red black tree, but key is so. So, we will keep the interval each interval is a node and the key dash keys on low low or the left end point. So, each interval is a node each interval is a node and the key value the key we are based on the key we are we, we make the binary search tree based on the key value we are making the binary search tree if a uh, node key value is less it should go to the left part if it is more the right part like this. So, we will make this structure the key using the left end point or the low of this i. So, each interval is a node uh, which, which is keyed on the low end point and we are keeping the this field we are keeping the maximum value uh, rooted at that subtree. This is the basically m of x m of x is the largest value largest value in the soft tree rooted at at x largest value in the soft tree rooted as x x means interval x int x x is an interval x is an interval so x is an interval so it has two end point low and high so based on the low end point we make the tree the binary search tree totally binary search tree is a red black tree and then this additional field we are keeping to store the maximum value of the uh, of the maximum largest value which is stored in the interval rooted at x ok so we have the example we have given example so let us draw the the tree so, with this additional field. Okay, so, we just have this intervals 5, 11, these are the low, low and high end points. So, each interval is a node and which is keyed as a low end point 8 9 I sorry 4 8 15 18 15 comma 18 and we have 7 comma 10 yeah. So, this is the these are the intervals we have given and this is the tree we construct and based on the low end point if you see 5 is less than 17. So, 5 is here a 4 is less than 5 like this. So, 15, 15 is less than 17, but greater than 5 it is here. So, 7, 7 is less than 17, 7 is greater than 5, but 7 is less than 15. So, 7 is the left. So, this is the binary search tree. Not only binary search tree, we can make it a red black tree by giving the color. This we can put black, this to black, this to black, this is black and this is red and this is red. So, we can put this nails ok. Now, we need to uh, so this is the red black tree this is our underlying data structure red black tree. Now, we have a additional bit of information which is basically max bit. So, this is the interval interval x and this is the max of x. So, max bit means the maximum so this is x so maximum so largest uh, element rooted at that tree. Now, what is the so this is the nails so they are 0 basically what the largest element rooted at this tree is 10 because the that is the high end point. This is 8 this is 23. Now, what is the largest so this is the 10 is the largest in the left sub tree and there is nothing in the right sub tree and this is the largest here. So, this is basically 18. Now, what is the largest over here? 8 is the largest in the left sub tree, 18 is the largest in the right sub tree and the largest in this interval is 11. So, this is basically maximum of this 3. Similarly, here 18 is the largest in the left sub tree, 
23 is the largest in the right subtree and the largest in this interval is 19. So, maximum of these 3 is 23. So, formula for m of x basically maximum of these 3 uh, high of x okay, high of x then maximum of left of x and maximum of right of x. So, this is the formula for this additional information. Okay. So, this is a red black tree with this additional information. Now, we need to maintain the how this additional information can be maintained when we will do the modifying operation like insertion and deletion. So, for that the coloring will not be affect much. So, we need to look at this uh, rotation operation, how it will affect in the rotation operation. So, to look at that let us just Uh, try to see whether we can maintain this additional information with the same time while we are performing the rotation. So, like this suppose we have this interval 50, uh, 11, 15, 6, 20 and this is the say So, we have a left subtree, we have a right subtree over here. So, this is 30, say we have 30 over here. Now, suppose here we make this up, this down, this is alpha, beta, this is gamma. Okay, this is a subtree rooted at this, these are the subtree. So, so, this is a tree. So, this is a part of the tree, we want to see the uh, uh, how, how we can perform the rotation operation and while performing rotation operation how we can fix this extra additional information in the same time. Okay, so, this is the right rotate on this, so we want to mix this up okay, and this down. So, 11, 15 will come down and then this will be hanging here 30 and alpha beta. So, alpha this is beta, this is gamma. Okay. Now, this will be maximum of this 3 19 and this will be maximum of this 3 13. So, this can be fixed in order of one time with the same timing with the rotation operation because rotation also need to change the point a few pointers. So, this is all this is not a. So, that means, this implies insertion and deletion will take the same time as red black tree original red black tree insertion and deletion. Okay, so, that wise that that so, so this argumentation is ok. So, now we will see how this extra bit of information this argumentation will help us to have the search or interval query. So, that is the interval search. Okay. Okay, so, we have a set of intervals uh, we have a set of intervals which we are maintaining in a uh, that uh, augmenting red black tree and we search a query interval which is over we want to see which is overlapping with this interval. So, we have a tree over here which is based on our uh, S this is this tree is coming from S set. Okay. So, what we are doing? We are taking the root of this root of this tree. So, basically we have this tree which is basically the intervals like this okay, like this so on. So, this is the this is our tree and this is the root. So, this is the on S set we are maintaining this thing. Okay. So, now we have to so given an interval i, i is basically we have given low of i and we have given high of i. So, basically we need to find an overlapping interval with this. Okay. So, uh, how we do? So, now if there is no element, so until 
see if S is not null that means, if there is only the root and uh, and this uh, low of i ok. If the low of i if the low of i is greater than high of x So, this add or or uh, low of x low of x is greater than high of i. Okay. So, we have this we have this interval. So, this is our x this is the root. Now, we check whether i is overlapping with this. Okay. So, this is the check whether i is not overlapping. So, how to check? So, we have a x interval. So, x is having here. Uh, so, we have a x interval. So, x is basically having two endpoints. This is the low of x, this is the high of x and we have a interval i which is the query interval. Now, when it will not overlap with this x, x is the root. Now, we check whether it is overlapping with the root. If it is not overlapping, then we will go for the left part or right part recursive call basically. So, before that we have to check whether it is overlapping with the x or not. So, how to check that? So, basically, so when it will not overlap either i is completely this side. So, this is low of i and this is high of i. That means, if uh, if high of i is less than low of x, this is either this or if it is completely that side. So, completely that side means if low of i is greater than high of x. So, either of these two. So, this means the interval is completely that side and this means interval is completely this side. So, this means they are not overlapping. This means this condition means this whole condition means i is i and x is not overlapping not overlapping if they are overlapping then we can return x if this is false either it is reached to a null nil so so or it is overlapping if it is not overlapping and it is not nil, then we have to go for the left part or right part. Okay. So, this is not overlapping, then we have to go further. So, how to go further? So, for that, so i and x is not overlapping by this condition. Then what we do? Then we do, uh, we just check if left of x is not null. and low of i if low of i is greater than max of uh, e, e, sorry if low of i is if left of x left of uh, if low of i just a minute so how to check this if low of i is greater than m of left of x. That means what? So, m of left of x. So, that means, so this is the m of left of x. So, that means, if m of left of x is less than low of i. So, that means, there is nothing interesting in the left part. So, we are looking for a interval which is overlapping with i if the low of i is greater than m of left if low of i is greater than maximum uh, largest value rooted and that's this part then there will be no interval in the left part which is overlapping with i then we must go for the right part then x is right of x else 
x is a left of x. Okay, that's it. So if either, then we return. Finally, we return x. So either x is nil. So that means there is no interval overlapping with x, or x is uh, this. Okay. So this means is this clear? So this means if so if the low of i, if the interval we are looking for, so this is the low of i. This is i, i the interval. So low of i. If the interval we are looking for low value is greater than the left part of the x, the maximum value of the left part of the x, then there is nobody, no interval will be there which can overlap with i. So, we have to go for the right part of the i. So, that is the idea. Okay. So, this is the pseudo code for inter, uh, interval search and the, what is the time complexity for this? So, time complexity is basically log n. So, we will do just quick example. So, we will just do some example on this. Okay, so, let us have the interval 17, 19, 22, 23, 5, 11, uh, 4, 8, 15, 18, and we have 17 sorry 7 comma 10 okay and we have the nils and we have the color okay now suppose we we search the i is equal to we want to search the interval 14 and 16 so low of i is 14 high of i is 16 so we'll just execute the interval search you have seen now so we start with the root x and we check whether this is overlapping with this so, 14, 16 is completely this side, I mean it is not overlapping. So, that means uh, and it is not null also. So, we then we have to fill this part also. So, this is basically 8, this is 10, this is basically 18, 18, 23, 23. Okay. Okay. Now, what we do? We just take x to be root. And this is the not overlapping. Now, this is basically 14 is basically less than 18. So, that means we have to look at this part of the tree. If 14 is greater than 18, then there is nothing interesting over here. Then we have to go for the right part, but here 14 is less than 18. So, now our x is this. Now, we check whether this is overlapping with this 14, this is not overlapping with this. Now, we check 14 uh, left part of this. Now, left part of this maximum value is 8, but 14 is greater than 8. So, there is no uh, benefit to going to the left. So, we will go to the right of the tree. Now, this is our x. Now, we compare this, this and this, this will be overlapping. So, it will return a this uh, return 15, 18 this interval. Okay. So, 15, 18 will return. Okay. Now, suppose we want to search for an interval which is not there. So, suppose we want to search say 12 and 14. So, how will do? So, we will start with x over here. So, it is not overlapping. So, now this for 12 is less than this. So, we will go to this part. Now, this is our x. Again, we check it is not overlapping. So, again we compare 12 with this, 12 is greater than, we have to come this part, this is our new root and then we compare with 12 and this, it is not overlapping and we check 12 with this, 12 is greater than, we go to the right, right is nil. So, basically we stop and it is returning us nil. So, that means there is no interval which is overlapping with this. Okay, so, analysis of this. So, the time is basically order of log n to report one interval. Okay. But the question is if suppose there are k intervals is overlapping with this and we want to retrieve all of them. So, what then how we can do that? Suppose there are k intervals which are overlapping with this interval i which is the given interval i and we need to 
return all these k intervals. So, how to do that? Suppose k intervals overlapping with i with the given interval with the query interval i and we want to return all the interval. How we can do that? So, what we can do? We can first get the interval which is overlapping with this and then we delete it from this uh, augmented red back tree and that deletion can be done in logarithm time. Again we make the search after deleting that it will give, give us the second interval which is overlapping with this. Again after getting that we delete it. So, basically the time will be k into log n. So, this is the time to uh, report the k interval which are overlapping with this. Okay. Because every time once we got the interval which is overlapping we will delete it because this is the red black tree deletion will be in log n time and after deleting that you know, that interval we again search we again perform this interval tree operations searching and then again it will take logarithm time. So, this way it is the k log n algorithm this is the output sensitive algorithm. Okay, thank you.